How's it going everybody? My name is Brandon Terry and welcome back to another Wii Review video. In today's video, we're going to be unboxing and reviewing the Polano label printer. So make sure to stick around to the end and drop a comment if you have any questions. Let's hop right into it. Okay guys, so we're done with the unboxing and now let's get into some of the pros and cons of this label printer. Um, so the first one is that it's compatible with both Windows and Mac. Most uh, label printers are these days, but I found a few of them um, while doing the research on this one. I found a few of them that were actually only compatible with Windows. So if you're a Mac user, don't be afraid, this is also compatible for you. So this label printer can actually print 60 labels per minute. It's not the fastest on the market, but it still is a very decent speed. I know like Dymo and some other label printers can actually print up to 75 labels per minute, but 60 labels per minute is still a very respectable speed. So obviously it's a thermal label printer, so there's no ink, so you don't have to worry about that. So another really cool feature about this label printer is it's actually adjustable and you can put pretty much any label size that you want in there. Um, you can go from two inches up to four inches, which covers pretty much every label um, there is out there. The majority of shipping labels that you're going to be printing are actually four by six, so that'll work perfectly for this printer. So the installation of this label printer was actually super easy. It only took me about 10 minutes and I had it completely set up and I was able to print my labels. Um, it comes with a USB flash drive that you can plug into your computer um, and it has all the files on there that you need. Um, so, or you can download it online. So it's super easy um, and it's super user friendly. So if you're having a little bit of um, doubts on whether or not you're gonna be able to set it up, don't be afraid, it's actually very easy to set up. Okay guys, so this is actually arguably the best pro that I found of this printer. Um, the labels for this printer are extremely cheap. So if you're looking for something that's cost efficient and also works well, I really recommend this label printer. Um, you can buy the labels on Amazon for, I think it was like $37.99 and you can get a thousand labels for that price, which is an extremely good deal if you compare it to other brands such as Dymo or Zebra. Um, I did a comparison and I think that you, um, if you're gonna buy Dymo label printers, like the actual branded um, label printers from Dymo, you can get 440 label printers for the price of 1,000 labels for the Polino. So if you, like I said, if you're going for cost efficient, um, you're trying to find something that's gonna be the best bang for your buck, Polino is definitely the way. I think you can buy 500 labels for $17, which is just mind blowing um, from, you know, Two years ago, I was spending a hundred dollars to get you know 500 labels from Dymo. So, label print the labels, extremely cost efficient, and they seem like they're good quality as well. So the last positive with this label printer is it is actually compatible with most e-commerce websites. Um, this kind of goes back to like the you know compatible with Windows and Mac. Most label printers are compatible um, this day and age with every e-commerce website. But if you were concerned about that, this will definitely work on all your main e-commerce. Um, platforms, you know, Amazon, eBay, um, Shopify, Etsy, all these types of websites, it is compatible with this printer. Okay, so now let's get into the cons. I didn't find too many, but I did want to point out some specific things that I did see. So one of the cons is it doesn't come with any labels. Um, I know most label printers don't, but um, I want to make sure that you know that. So if you're going to print this or order this so you can print out your shipping labels, um, it does not come with labels. So be warned. But like I said, the labels are extremely um, affordable. So just order, you know, five to, a, I mean, 
it's $37. You can buy a thousand labels. You'll pretty much be set up for a long time. So another con that I found was this um, this tray that they gave you. Um, it's kind of a weird design. Um, this is coming from me, um, a Dymo user. I've had my Dymo label printer for a long time. So you can actually put the labels inside the Dymo printer. So it looks really nice. It's easy on the eyes. Um, this, it's a little bit of an eyesore. It's just, it's kind of weird. Um, you have to put it behind your printer like this. Um, so it does take up a lot of room. Um, so if you have a small desk, that's something you want to think about. Um, overall, I mean, it, it works well. It was easy to set up. Um, it's a little bit flimsy. I did break it um, when I was trying to install it. Um, so that's something I'm not too strong either um, But that's just something to keep in mind that if you don't have enough room on your desk for something like that You may want to go with a different option um, Like I said, it doesn't it's not horrible looking it just kind of is a little bit of an eyesore and personally um, I like my Dymo printer, but if you're gonna save, you know 60% on your labels and all you have to do is you have to deal with using this thing. I would say that's a pretty good compromise so overall, I definitely would recommend this label printer. Um, it's a great option for the new seller. It's super easy to set up. It looks okay. Um, the tray, I don't like it too much, like I said, but overall it looks okay. Um, the labels, like I said, they're super affordable. So if you're trying to go for the cost efficient and the best bang for your buck label printer, um, this is gonna be one of the best options for you. Um, like I said, the setup is super easy. It only took me about 10 minutes to set up. Um, I can't give any recommendations or any reviews on the support of Polono, but um, their listing on Amazon has great reviews, and I didn't see anything in the reviews on the Amazon listing stating that the support was hard to deal with or anything in that nature. So um, overall, I would definitely recommend this label printer. Um, it's like 130 bucks, so it's not the cheapest on the market, but you'll make your money back on those label printers long, or on the labels on the long term. So I hope you guys like this review. Um, we're gonna get back into this. We're gonna be start making a lot more reviews. So if you'd like to, give us a like and subscribe and drop a comment if you have anything you would like us to review. My name is Brandon Thierry and thanks for watching.